What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, this is the Pico Calc, and I am so excited to finally have my hands on this. I've been waiting so long to make a video on this, and it's actually basically a calculator setup running on a Raspberry Pi Pico. It is extremely, extremely cool. It's made by Clockwork Pi, and they make some of the coolest stuff out there, including the U console, which I'm hoping to get pretty soon. Now, what's cool about this thing is it's actually got a full keyboard, color screen, all sorts of great goodies and stuff, and it runs off a Raspberry Pi 2040, which is an extremely capable MCU. Now, there's an absolute ton of stuff you can do with the Pico Calc, but today, I'm gonna go through a super simple build-up video to get it running, so you can learn all the basics just right along with me. And then in future videos, I'll be able to show you all sorts of cool stuff like putting Doom on it or upgrading to this Raspberry Pi Pico 2W, which adds wireless capabilities. All right, so I feel like it's been a long time since we had a good hardware video, so I'm super psyched. Let's get at it. All right, so before we get started, I just want to point out I'm rocking the brand new Talking Sasquatch merch over at shop.talkingsasquatch.com or shop.squatch.zip. We've got a ton of really cool designs on there, ranging from the hackers slash fallout integration we did for DEF CON and a bunch of different logos. We got hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, all sorts of cool stuff. So check it out. All right, so let's switch over to the top down camera and get this bad boy unboxed and see what's inside. All right, so this is the Pico Calc right here and I've got it on my desktop or my whatever, my workspace, cool. But here it is right here. So let's pop it open. And we have, of course, the Pico Calc instruction manual. Whether or not we're going to read this, we'll find out very soon. So I'm going to throw it on the floor for the moment. And I think this all just comes out. Let's see if I can not shake everything too much, but eh, here we go. Right there. Fantastic. All right. So we're going to hop off of the dual cameras right now because it's making my computer explode. But let's pop this whole thing open and let's see what we got. We have our back PCB. It's got all the cool buttons on there. Very, very nice. And the back of the Pico Calc where we put our... 18650 batteries fantastic close that up put this over here now we have the front piece right here which has got the glass that we have to install when we're done very nice as well our keyboard it's got the little obviously tactile buttons it's just like kind of a normal membrane style keyboard i believe that's what it's called that's nice put that here and let's crack this part open that was hard to get off and there we have our screen let's see if we can get this out of here without ripping the peel ah careful screen with a nice little ribbon cable in back here they gave us a wrench super useful obviously wrenches are for wrenching obvious statements are obvious we've got our hardware a bunch of different screws or actually i guess a bunch of the same screws but yeah screws we have the raspberry pi pico right here and i had mentioned before that i'm going to actually upgrade mine to a 2w because this is supposed to be a one yep just a one little normal guy right there all right we have our SD card. Actually, this is a full size SD card. Is there a SD card? Wow, this is an actual full size SD card. I don't know the last time I saw an actual full size SD card. So that's kind of fun. Bit of a throwback right there. Ugh. Man, these are going to be impossible to get out of here. And then these two little guys right here are actually our speakers. So awesome. Let's grab the important parts over here and get to building this thing. So according to the instructions, we're going to mount the speakers which should be pretty easy, hopefully. And then let's break this glass over here. Try not to damage that too much. All right, so it looks like the speakers are gonna go up here. Take them out of this little guy. Eh, come on, there we go. And I believe they're both the same. And we got our little, whoops, careful, little stickiness on the back. So I guess we just sticky those right on. And it looks like they have little pogo pins there, too. So make sure we get them in the right orientation. So according to the instructions, it looks like the pogo pins and the little tab right here. This is going to go this way. One. And this one's going to go this way. Los dos. There we go. Sits right in the little pocket right there. Perfecto. Now they want me to go ahead and install the screen, which is going to go on right there. But... Not before this segue to today's sponsor, PCB Way. PCB Way is your one stop shop for anything you can need for PCB design, manufacturing, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and more. PCB Way has engineers on staff that can help you on any single project you have from beginning to end. They're absolutely fantastic. 
and they have shared projects so you don't even have to figure things out on your own they'll tell you what you can make and they'll make it for you it's just it's so much fun and as always make sure to check out the module store there's so many cool bits and bobs on there they've got tools they've got screens electronics everything you need to make something awesome pcby's got you there so thank you so much to pcbway for all the continued support you guys are absolutely awesome let's get back at it all right so from here what we're supposed to do is take off the protective layer on this guy so the peel and then insert the screen right into here with the ribbon cable up so we can do that so ever so gentle and then try not to touch anything and then just kind of go ahead and drop that into position give it a little nudge and i think we're in now of course let's grab our keyboard make sure everything lines up but this should be pretty foolproof right there bam now we want to go ahead and mount what they're calling the core which is just this guy let's scooch all this stuff over and i need to get into the back of this the screws aren't in yet so this should be pretty easy to take out question mark let's just ask it nicely let's see oh there we go just careful careful it's also harder because i'm working like in front of me in front of the camera there we go so now we got it now we're open place this here and then this goes in with the USB up, give it a little nudge. So you just want to be super, super nice with these things. You know, anytime you're plugging in anything with headers like this, but it shouldn't be hard to do, Ugh. but then it goes in you get a little satisfying install feel and then give it a little extra because I see a gap there. There we go. No gaps and that's ready to go. So now we're simply going to install the main board right here. And then we're going to put, looks like this ribbon cable through the hole. Eh, there we go. Careful. Line this all up here. It should sit nicely. I think my keyboard's not in all the way. Something seems a little bit off. Let me double check some things here. It might just be because I'm sitting in on the bench while I'm putting this on, but put this through. Okay, yeah, this feels good. This feels solid. And then these guys, these little connectors here, typically you just flip this up, flip this up. There we go. And then insert our ribbon cable. Yeah, none of this is hard. It's just, you know, you got to be nice to it. There you go. I think we're in pretty good right there. Flip that down. Ugh, there we go. And there is our screen installed. Fantastic. From here, we're going to go ahead and put in our SD card. So normally these go kind of like that. Good. This thing's not connected yet, but it's got a nice firm click to it. Perfect. And then we just put the back on. Should all kind of fit together nicely here. There we go. Feels good to me. And we're just going to screw it all together with the included screws. And I've got myself a really nice little electric screwdriver with, well, I'm pretty sure the wrong bit because these are not the same. So let's grab the right bit for this guy. Actually, come to think of it, my LTT screwdriver, which actually has a really nice little fun spinny guy on there. This has, I think, the one I need in here, right? Let's grab you. Is that it? Let's figure this out. So bad at opening little bags. All right. Screws, junk. This the right size? Oh yeah, here we go. Rock and roll. So pop this out. These fit and work just fine in there. So screw together. Drop them in and give them a go. Careful. Don't over torque these things, especially with an electric screwdriver. So I'm just going to kind of lightly go at them. This thing has an auto torque feature, but right now I'm not really using it. I'm just kind of going by feel. And then give them a little extra with, I don't know, just kind of going by feel. Again, I'm actually a mechanic. So um, I have a pretty good feel for, you know, screwing things in, um, you know, so don't go too tight. You can definitely probably strip all this stuff out, but you don't got to go nuts with it. And there we go. They're screwed in all of them. Brilliant. Now, this is also when you would install your 18650 batteries, being very careful to notice that they're both in the same direction. It's very odd for 18640 for anything. Um, I don't actually have batteries for this at the moment. I'll grab some at some point. I keep forgetting to grab more 18650s but that's okay. Close that up. And because I can always power it right to the USB. All we have to do from here is make sure we didn't put any junk on our lens or, or on our screen for that matter, which looks like we did. So let's see if we can carefully clean that up. Well, I didn't find anything good to clean it with. So I guess we'll just deal with that at a later time. And we're going to put our screen thing on there. You'll notice there's a little light right there. So we want to line that up and make sure that's on the right side. Undo all this stuff. Wow, this is going to be really hard to get out of here. I'm going to liberate this guy. There we go. Trying very hard not to touch the glass. Take off this stickiness. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. And then this is going to sit right like that. Try not to get it to actually stick until it's lined up. There we go. That's in space. Give it a little four corner touch. Brilliant. Now we have our Pico cow. So since we're going battery list, let's go ahead and actually plug this sucker in. So we'll go in and just kind of plug that into the top. 
And then if we hold this button right here, it should fire up. Hello. If we hold this button, it should fire up. The heck? Hello? What's going on, bro? Plugged in? Fire up. There we go. I don't know what the heck was going on. There we go. And here we are. We're actually running PicoCal. Fantastic. So this video is mostly going to be a build video, so we're not going to get into too much of what MM Basic is. But again, it's a pretty basic type of programming language. So let's see if we can just do something easy. Print space. Uh, do I need quotes for this? We're going to find out. I have quotes. Here we go. Shift. Hello, world. D. Let's see if I can just completely make up how to code. Hey, it works. So yeah, it just works just like that. So yeah, it's really not all that complicated. It's a very, very basic programming language. But again, it's got a Raspberry Pi 2040 in it. So it can do some really, really cool stuff. And I'm super excited to show you that in future videos. So yeah, it's a quick and dirty build of the PicoCalc. It's super, super simple. It really couldn't be much easier. But again, I wanted to make a video series on the PicoCalc and soon to be U console. So I feel like starting off at the very beginning of assembly is a great you know, starting point. And then next time we're gonna head back we're going to show you how to add stuff to it. We're going to show you how to change the MCU out. All sorts of great stuff. So, you know, keep an eye out for that video in the future. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are absolute legends. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. You guys are the best. We'll catch you next time.